friends, welcome to day 18 of Advent. Day 18 is another viewer question. This one comes from Favelis, maybe? I don't know. I'm not good with reading things that are a bunch of letters in one word. Welcome to the life of me. Uh, today's question is, are you hoping to publish relatively soon? And if so, traditional or self-pub and why? Am I hoping to publish soon? No. Writing is not my end-all be-all goal. I don't don't really want to be a full-time writer. Writing is really more of a hobby for me. Do I want to be a published writer someday? Do I want people to be able to read my stories? Absolutely. Is it like my main goal, my main focus, my main everything? Absolutely not. Otherwise I probably wouldn't be here on booktube talking about reading books and writing books and planners and all of the other things that I do. I probably would be writing focused. So is it what I want to do? No. Is it a hobby I enjoy? Yes. Is it something that I want to do professionally at some point? Absolutely. Do I think that's going to be anytime soon? Probably not. Mostly because I do work a regular day job. I am there between anywhere between like 45 to 60 hours a week depending on the week you know, how busy we are, whatever we've got going on. So I spend a lot of my time there. As I have said before, like I live on a farm, I have a lot of animals, I have a lot of things, I have a lot of responsibilities. I don't really have a lot of time for my hobbies. Basically a couple hours a day relegated to hobbies. That includes watching YouTube, reading books, filming YouTube videos, working on writing, all of the things that I love to do. So no. Even though the answer is no, I will go ahead and talk to you about traditional publishing and self-publishing. At this current moment in time, I haven't really written either one out. I think there are definitely things that there are benefits to both. There are negatives to both. I don't know that I could do the marketing side of self-publishing by myself. Like I definitely can help with those things. Like I definitely can help with, with marketing, promotion, um, all of the things that you do have to do in traditional publishing like you can't just give your stuff to somebody and expect them to do everything like you still got to put in the work but I don't think I could do it without some of the direction that you would get from traditional publishing so I feel like I definitely would steer more towards traditional publishing than self-publishing and that's just me personally I know that there are benefits again to both and negatives to both um, but I think I would lean more towards traditional publishing or hybrid publishing I don't think I'll ever go straight self-publishing. Going straight traditional publishing? Possibility. Doing hybrid publishing? Possibility. Straight indie publishing? Not very likely. That's not to say that either version of publishing doesn't work better for specific people. You really need to do your research and figure out what's going to work better for you and know what you can and cannot handle. And I don't think that I personally can handle self-publishing, um, especially with like my time constraints and everything. That I, I don't I don't think I can devote enough time to that. Though then again, do I have the time to devote to traditional publishing because of all of the deadlines and things that are involved in it? I don't know. I don't know. That's why I'm not planning on doing anything anytime soon. <laughs> like I got too much going on and right now I'm really just enjoying learning about my characters, learning about my stories, enjoying the writing process itself. I will say that next year sometime, I don't know when, Next year at some point uh, I am working on a project and this project will be an interactive project of sorts and it will involve me releasing the project on Wattpad. So like will there be things for you to read from me relatively soon? Yes. Is it technically publishing? Yeah, I don't think so. But it's neither here nor there. Hopefully that answered all of your questions. Let's pull day 18's creator spotlight. Day 18 is Diane Marie. So Diane is a writing based YouTuber so it is author to related content. She does a lot of vlogging and I know you guys have asked about this type of video specifically so I'm here to tell you this is where to go. Everyone keeps saying I wish author tubers could be more aesthetic. Listen y'all, 
Diane Marie is the most aesthetic author tuber. Like she is aesthetic as fuck. Like from her thumbnails to her videos, the way that she films her vlogs, very aesthetic. So if that's what you're looking for, that's where to find it. She doesn't have a lot of backlog right now, but highly recommend go check her out especially if you like aesthetic videos. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me today. If you don't want to miss anything else going on with Advent this month, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!